How's it going, ladies and gents? Well, right behind me here is a 2010 Landers by Shaw Dirt Modified. Oh, hey, and this is a, well, he was here and gone in just an instant. That was my buddy Ryan. He's going to be helping me along in this journey. And uh, although it may look pretty weird right now, we're going to put a whole body on this thing and get ready for the Gateway Dirt Nationals. What's that? Well, it's funny you yes. ask. Um, it's an old football stadium, and we're going to race inside of it. Yeah, you heard me. The uh, St. Louis Rams used to, uh, they used to be their stadium, and uh, they've long since gone, as you know. And uh, ever since then, Gateway Dirt Nationals. Since 2015, 17, 2000 something team. Uh, they've been racing indoors, and this is the first year we got invited. So strap in and lock her down. Welcome to old number seven garage. Tell the energy's different. I love it. I love it. It's been 720 days, two years. But I think the fact that we are all back here tonight speaks to the essence of what the Gateway Dirt Nationals is. We didn't even have this event last year, but guess what? As always, the Gateway Dirt Nationals rose. It persevered, it kept fighting, and again, Gateway is back. Over the course of the previous four years at this event, we've seen absolutely anything and everything that can happen. Be able to be in front of all them people and feel that, I mean, it was electric out there. We're here, we're in Victory Lane. I'm gonna earn my ass a truck ride and y'all's gonna have to watch it. So, bringing you in here, this is the uh, the skeleton, should you say, of a dirt modified. Without a body on it, we got to build one. So, if you see anything you got questions about, just comment down below and we'll tell you all about it. If this is your first time, we got we got several new people in here lately. You know what I mean? That's uh, that's that's my dog, but evidently she thinks she's his. Anyway, that's Daisy. So welcome everybody, new and old. We appreciate you coming by. But we gotta get we gotta get going on this thing. We've got a little bit less than three weeks to get everything put together and ready to go. Um, Ten thousand bucks to win if you win this big show here. But either way, we're kicking dust up in an old NFL football stadium. I think it's pretty neat. Uh, and just take a look at this uh, powder coat. It's called a disco tangerine, and uh, I'm still a big fan of that. Small block Chevy, of course, and uh, she's cranking out about 623 horsepower, 0.6, I think, <laughs> and a half. Um, Chevelle stub. Uh, this is all aftermarket suspension, but it does use a Chevelle style lower, so pretty neat deal. Uh, most of you guys already know this that are watching the channel, but any new people that don't know much about nothing dirt track related, there you go. Wired some lights up in here so you can see what's happening. Get all the gauges up in your face and uh, get in and out real quick. On top of that, we added some up underneath. So I think it's pretty fitting that we take a pretty old car to the dome, don't you be? A lot of people are scared of getting stuff tore up. Well, I mean, it's it is old and it's new, but uh, we're not afraid of it. Everything's fine. Huh? Everything's 
Everything is fine. Uh, what we do need to do is uh, we got to put some mufflers on this thing. They don't allow turndowns, and the reason being, and I can vouch for it, and he's so can he, I'm sure, is they really kick up a lot of dust in the pit area because it settles right back and it's just this confined area. So they're trying to keep the dust from, from blowing out so bad. So that's what we're going to do right now is pop these mufflers off right here. Simple bolt-on unit. Pop them off. We got two new ones we're going to put on there with the straight, no turn down action. And um, before we get the body on it and get it in the way. Sorry about the heater noise. Cold outside. So what we got here is this, this is a Schoenfeld brand and this is called an anti-reversion muffler. You can see that's the exhaust gas is coming out. And then it's got a chamber in there if you see that. I like to run this style. Don't know that it makes a whole lot more power, but it's opposed to. So all we gotta do basically is unbolt those, weld another one of these brackets right on here, slip it on, set it, and forget it. B, he's over here already taking her apart. Uh, we kinda like to hoard stuff, so it's, it goes pretty, pretty good with uh, what we got going on here. Anybody recognize what that thing is? My kids aren't very happy, but I went ahead and stole the trampoline springs off the trampoline. And they work really good as, uh, I'll put you down there where you can see. Yeah, they work really good as header hangers. Used them for a long time. Anyway, probably ought to get a trampoline for the kids again. Those get hurt. <laughs> if memory serves me correct. Nope, don't know what I'm talking about. Slid right on there. Okie dokie. You can't beat a deal like that, bud. Somewhere. Let's see. Maybe one more up. Oh, yeah. That's all we need right there. Looking for that. Oh, we don't even need nothing but that right there. So, Again, my apologies for the uh, excessive wind. Can you hear me? Hello? It's it's pushing 30 degrees outside, so you gotta have that heat, you know. Anyway, right there, that, and I, I'm obviously not thinking very hard because I could have grabbed two. Set that right on there and weld it. Definitely not a professional welder, but it'll do in a pinch. Wait, we are now dome legal. That was the only thing we had that was illegal. But they can't protest us or nothing. Really like that welder too, by the way. Had her for a while and I like it a bunch. I'm basically blind here because I flashed myself about seven times because my welding helmet was not auto darkening. It was uh, the reverse of auto darkening. It was not darkening. Real nice. Then we're gonna sound a little different too. Mm -hmm. You know, we probably need to fire it up, make sure it sounds good. Probably. <laughs> Would you say? I say so. Oh yeah, that's nice. Well, uh, we'll give you guys a little taste of the a little tickle of the engine noises here in just a sec. Still in love with my. Uh, Nickel coated headers. Mr. Locky, John, we appreciate you. We'll probably have another one set coming to you for too long. I didn't. So it's a good hot. thing. And it's hot too? Yep. Touch it a little bit longer, it'll stop being hot. This is true. <laughs> Mustache too big for that one? Or you no, just like to tighten it at the end? It'll only run it on there so far. Oh. I think there was plenty of onion for that. That one is. Okay, let's start it up just for a hot minute. Second. Best thing I ever done was put a starter button out here. Pretty neat deal. That'll never run like that. Not very well. Lucky knows something's getting ready to go down. He's eyeballing that thing. Oh, she biking tires. You heard me. 
No, no. Don't bite them. They're too expensive. It's gonna do it anyway. Here we go. Bumpers, easy to neutral. Yep. Ready? I know. <laughs> for a while it sounds pretty good <laughs> uh while while nope let me re rewind there why i'm saying those are different where'd them other ones go oh yeah we already got them riveted on back here we're gonna run these stacks not really that would be a real good time for me to recommend you go check out our tiktok we made a pretty funny one out of these why i'm saying they're different can you see down in there you see this is just a standard muffler um Basically, your, your basic run-of-the-mill muffler is what I'm saying. So, Those anti-reversions do make her sound a little different. Changes the tone. The uh, What's the word I'm looking for? I guess the tone. <laughs> it sounds way meaner to me. To me, it does. So, Whew, Smells good in here. You're going to go home smelling like a champion. That's fine. <laughs> okay, well, now that we got that done... Oh, yeah, good looking out there. Now that we got that done, what do you think we ought to do? What can we do? We have sheet metal now, right? I mean, I got a little bit of sheet metal now. Or we can uh, tear some stuff apart and make sure it's good to go and put it back together. I don't know. Because in order to get the sheet metal thing going, we're going to have to move all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I did just reorganize my shop or my garage underneath the house so I can park vehicles in it so there's a little bit of room. Maybe, maybe. Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. Well, boomer, they'll have to go somewhere. It's all that other shop we built. Oh, yeah. And I didn't know. Doesn't hold up rain very good, does it? Yeah. Yeah. Wait, what do you want to do? I don't care. You got to do it all. We could also move them over there for now or something. Put a table there. Or we gotta move that. Hmm. You see the smoke rolling out. We're gonna think about it for a minute. Okay, while well, I got a second here, thinking about it, I gotta give a big shout out to Bryn and especially my buddy Jack over there. He watches all of our videos. And they are a big supporter of the old number seven garage. So thank you guys very much. We run their Bren Predator transmissions. You can see right there. Bren, that, that thing has been amazing. They're actually gun drilled, all the shafts are. They're super lightweight. They got a drum style clutch instead of the discs. Super resilient to wear. I love them. I ran them for a long time. And here just recently, I went ahead and done the right thing and got two starters. One and then a backup. Yep, I did get a spare part here. Can you believe it? Um, so I uh, wanted to let Mr. Jack know we did not forget about him. We got the whole crew here signed a couple of shirts. So Jack, we got some shirts coming your way. We got some other shirts packaged up here too. And if you guys are interested in any shirts we have left in stock right now, they are on the clearance, 30% off. Just go to shopoldnumber7garage.com. Grab what we got left. We got hoodies, hats. All kinds of cool stuff. What I'm saying is, get them while they're hot. All right. So, looks like we made the executive decision here to uh, go ahead and get the sheet metal break out. Hmm. Was this the last one? That's 2018. Okay. 15th annual, 16th. Hard charger. Anyway. If you guys didn't know, we did get the best appearing car at Modified Mania at Tri-City Speedway at the end of September there. So, thanks to everybody that voted for that. And big shout out to my buddy Craig. We got all these wraps and stuff we got around here. Current, past, future. KBC wraps. KBC graphics. Craig Carter. That's your man. And he 
That's that's because of him right there. So thanks, buddy. Just in case you forgot, right there. We're gonna leave it there for a while. Now, let's get the old sheet metal station put up in record time. Watch it. Only one thing left to top off the old sheet metal table. I'm gonna have to move it, but we'll set it here anyway. There. Well, now we got our sheet metal room set up. Nap time. So, is it? Nap time? Okay. Um, as you can see, it's very, very ergonomic. You know, when you bring your sheet metal in here, you work on it, you bend it, you put it back, and then just like that. What do you want to make first? The hardest part? Nose has got to be the hardest one. Doors and quarters are pretty, pretty simple. It's all pretty. Yeah. 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 I get you. We got the whole body laying here. There ain't much goes on with these things. Uh, we're not going to build one of those. So we'll put that back. You know, we're going to make this work. I'm going to put this, I'm going to lay this on there while we're. Got mud on it. Did we not wash the hood? Nope. Did not wash the hood. Imaginary. Imaginary wash? Okay. Then we'll just ignore that. Pretend like it's not there. Yeah. We'll do like Vice Grip says. We'll pretend like we didn't see that. Anyway. That's it. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seven pieces and a couple small ones there to build a whole body for your modified plus a hood and a roof not a lot to it unless you design it yourself it's real easy when you get it all done you just copy it but we designed this kind of pretty much designed this whole body ourselves this year which we do every year and say we're never going to do again we're not going to do that next year we're not. <laughs> i can guarantee it almost 100 percent. and why well you'll just have to stay tuned for that we got, we got big plans coming here, boys. I'll tell you this much. After the dome race, this car is sold. It's gone. And Lazarus is going to move on to somebody else. She's been a good one. And I hope it stays that way for the next guy. I'm just a keeper of him for right now. He's going to get kept by another guy. So stay tuned for what we got planned up next. But for now, it's body time. You eat your Wheaties, buddy? It's body building time. You bet. Jim's that way. Yeah. Okay. So, can I help you? This is our original nose. And it's going to go on there just like that. And we got plenty. We're pretty much professionals. And it looks like we probably cut it out of this one once before. Pretty much professionally messed it up. Professionally messed stuff up. Yeah, don't, don't pay no attention to this. This is all... That's brand new. I just put it in, but test pieces. Test. That's for testing purposes. Yeah, testing pieces. We're gonna lay this out and work our brains a little bit and make sure we save as much as we can because this stuff's not cheap. No, no. Not cheap. Everything's expensive these days, so we have gotta save all we can. Guy almost needs sunglasses here, bud. Those lights, uh, whoa. Hyper lights, by the way. Big shout out to them. Um, it's yeah, that's bright. So what we did here is we marked the corners, you can see. I'm gonna lose that much. We spun it around enough. And here, here's a, a hack for you. What do you call these? A little scratching stick? A scribe, it's like a carbide tipped scribe. And he don't like them, he tries eating them and it don't work for him, they're really sharp. Uh, look into getting one of these, reason being, here's why. Okay, you can use a Sharpie. It makes a big old fat line. And yeah, we're just building race cars, but that little bitty line right there, way nicer. It is a race car, but I like doing my stuff right the first time. Look into one of them, I'm telling you. Anyway, that's all set up, so we're gonna get it all cut out and bent up at least two to three times, because we're gonna mess it up, and then we'll have her done. No, he says no. Okay, hey, here's something real cool I wanna show you while you're all right here in the heat of the moment. My mom, right there, Mama's love makes these bags out of uh, like our old t-shirts and stuff we don't use 
or she just prints her own transfers. Um, pretty cool. That's a that Nash Motorsports was an old T-shirt, but these bags are also available. I will have them available on my uh, shop old number seven garage.com store. I'll snag a couple of pictures up, but uh, she ha she's really really talented and really good at what she does. Let's look inside of here. She probably probably done some neat stuff in there. Yep, it's got a couple extra pockets in it. And uh, look in this one. Yeah, it's they're really nice bags. They'll be really good to go to the dome, throw your stuff in there. But uh, that'll help my mom out. I, anything that she sells, I'm gonna give right back to her, even if she don't want it. <laughs> I'm gonna do it anyway. But anyway, let's get back to doing this. I haven't even got very far because I lost my cutter. So I just found them, and uh, we'll get her cut and bent. See if it almost fits. I hope so. So for instance, like this is Chase's bag. We put all of his gear in. His gear bag, wouldn't you know? Mama made that. <laughs> so shout out to mom. Love you, mom. Appreciate what you do for us. Very awesome. And if you guys like to help her out, I know even though she won't won't take it, I'm giving her whatever she makes off those. It's happening. Oh, and also, I don't have the Facebook. Um, it's broke. Don't know what's going on with it. I'm really angry about that. But any of these panels that you see, they will be at the dome at the merch area kimbo slice and my mom will be working that maybe have some extra people i don't know um but we're gonna have all the new shirts new designs we can get here i'll enter them in right here here's all we got so all this this is our new dome allen quickie throwback shirts this is our old number seven garage lifestyle shirts um and we've also got these cool uh here right here we've got these i've got just a couple of these left. these are steel super heavy i mean they hang on your wall i threw that one right there save one for myself i'm gonna put it somewhere probably over here on my wall um we'll have those we're gonna have all kinds of stuff those body panels which will be the last body we ran they will also be up there so if you guys is interested they're gonna be up there all right that, that's our latest our blue and orange body but uh yeah so check them out lucky over here board jacking anyway we're gonna get back into this try to get this nose cut before next week Truths. Bent it, fold it up to grandma's. I think it's gonna work just fine. That's a lot of metal there, buddy. Little stuff. This is the piddly stuff that I don't like building so much. Best part is we don't have to re-engineer nothing. We lay it down, cut it, bend it, slam it, and jam it. I heard something. I heard a, a noise. What happened? What you, I don't know. What, what happened? What are you talking about? Brian over here cutting in a cover, literally. Oh no. You're going to have to get another one of them. Yeah, I ain't too worried about it. No. What we're doing is we're cutting four inch strips. And uh, what he just done there was set it on four inches and he laid a razor blade across it four or five times. We'll flip it the other side, mark our line, put it back in there, hit the brake, it'll pop it right off. Be the straightest cut you'll ever make. So there's a tip for you. And these things right here are gonna be side pieces for this. I'm gonna go right there. See how that's 90? It'll actually set underneath of the nose. And it'll be our side pieces. So anybody else watch good good old movies while you're working on your race car or racing? Hey, that's not appropriate. Whoops, never mind. There's a half naked lady on the TV. Whoop. Anyway, Big Daddy, great movie. What you guys watch? Comment down below. We like I like to watch funny stuff. I just watched Rambo too, but well, didn't really watch much of nothing. But anyway, here's a moment of the truth. Bender. I've showed you this a whole bunch, but it'd be pretty cool. You know, up from underneath there. 
is a perfectly four inch piece. As long as you measured right, cut twice and measured once. You supposed to measure? Yeah, measure once, cut twice. About four inches. Two times. Yeah, cut it, yeah, just cut it twice. It's still too short. Okay, and then uh, after we we actually been pretty busy. We made side pieces, posts, noses. Uh, yeah. So side, the, noses? side noses too. Yeah. Where are they at? Yeah, laying over here. See, right here by our dual smokestacks. Sounds good. We've been busy. We're doing the hard stuff. Play a little tune down where the crawdads sing. Oh, the crawdads sing. Or that's it. Did yes. I know? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> that ain't no way to treat your buddy. Yes, hey, get out of there. <laughs> that's an unfair fight, buddy. You're not, not being very nice. Get him, Daisy. Get him. All right, that'll be enough. Don't tell me no. Get him. You need to bust him a little bit. Bust him up. Get him. Uh-oh. <laughs> there you go. Now he's busted up. All right, B, I think I've had enough for today. How about you? Yep. Yeah? Okay. Well, we made some progress. We got the front part of it done. It's not riveted on or anything, but the main part is it's nice catch. It's it's made, so we'll finish it later. Get get it closer to looking like that. I think we ought to put these here for for real. For reals, smokestacks. I have some make black smoke come out of them whenever we get on it. Anyway, guys, uh, we appreciate you. I've, I've mentioned this a couple times. This is a sponsor panel, 60 bucks if you've been on here before or 100 bucks if you wanna get on there. It's just a way to get your name out there. We mention you, uh, talk about it every once in a great while on the uh, on the channel. And everybody that's on here, there's a lot of guys and gals that's came back. If you're on here and you're seeing this right now and you wanna get back on there, send us an email or comment down below. We'll get a hold of you. Um, the email is oldnumber7fans at gmail.com. But, uh, Everybody that gets on here gets a uh, free T-shirt, and um, of course your your name recognized on the channel, and it also helps us out. It's a way of supporting us if you want to help us do that. So we really appreciate you all. Um, we're looking forward to get to the dome, and uh, we got just a few weeks until then. So don't forget we're going to bring all of our body panels there. We're going to uh, have new merch, and uh, yeah. Couple more days, we'll have the body done. Wrap should be printed and on the way before too long. Um, but yeah, we're 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 getting there. So I guess we'll see y'all in the next one. We appreciate you, and keep her between the ditches. I had a dream that I was gonna leave my town with a six string on my back, playing every bar that I could get my foot in. Stay.